All right, welcome back. You are still hanging out with us right here in Y in the morning, and I am so excited. What is now happening? All right, welcome back once again. You know, it happens here live on TV, things happen. So that's when you know it's a live programming. But, anyways, thank you so much for hanging out with us at uh, Y244 channel, is the handle, public to social media platforms. And just in case you don't know, the hashtag to plug in on is Y in the morning slash Thursday vibes as well. At Brian Sakona, one is mine. And if you're not seated in front of your TV, by the way, we are offering you this service for free, okay? www.co.kbc forward slash y254 is where you can stream in at the comfort of your own time without hustling, struggling, or trying to look for a TV screen, okay? But anyway, story for another day. So continue to interact with us. Now, along with us in studio is uh, the, one of the founders or co-founders of uh, the Overmind Associates, and he's going to actually take us through the journey of how to develop you know, an amazing website and how you can incorporate it in your business to ensure that your business is Flawless, not it, not only just flawless by flawless by the way, but it has that you know uh, beautiful, amazing outlook. Especially in a day and age like this, where it's all about colors, it's all about customer service, it's all about feedback. How can you ensure that you have a website that's uh, customer friendly? as well. So we're going to talk about that. And joining me live with us in the studio is uh, Nick Muthumbi. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to i 254 Thank you for having me. All right. So let's go straight up. Uh, your, the, the, the name of your brand is really, you know, amazing as well. How did you, you finally come up with such a name and over, you know, over mine? Over mine. Yeah. Um, uh, it's actually a very interesting uh, conversation. It's um, the, whole, the whole concept behind it is, is sort of a think tank. You know, where we, we kind of come up with ideas and brainstorm and stuff like that to come up with ideas that push brands to the next level. Okay. So, you know, think tank, over mind, you know, it's like beyond, beyond what meets the eye and beyond what meets your thoughts. So, one and one together, over mind. All right. Yeah. So, how many are you? Just two of us. Still are. Uh, still are too big. yeah but you guys have money to actually work with uh, amazing mainstream brands that yeah. have you know yeah. quite a huge following and an impact in the country as Thank well you. how did you get to that level where you know you had all these clients coming to you before even starting now you know having you know to do because uh, i know at some point you have to do free work yeah you know you yeah. Start <laughs> and you're like, hey, yeah does this guy who makes website i'm like who is it can he come and give us Check a demo yeah. right yeah so how did you have that you know massive outburst so um as much as i want to take the credit um, you know, most of the work is, um, I, I, I am lucky enough to have a very experienced partner. He's okay. called Richie, Richard. Okay. So he was, um, he's been in the game for way longer. He's been in the game for way longer because, um, you know, they say if, if you want to go far, hang out with people your age, if you want to go further, hang out with older people. So, right. yeah, um, he's been in the game for longer, so his resume and portfolio is much bigger. Right. So um, through him and his experience, and now my experience, you know, it's kind of new age and old age kind of brought together. We managed to bug those, uh, those contracts. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, when, when was this? When was this officially you know, uh, launched? Uh, Overmind has been in existence since 2016, 17. Right. Around, uh, 2017, yeah. So it's, it's almost clocking half a decade, full half a decade, yeah. right? Yeah. Which I know you have a lot of experience. Now, maybe before you even settled on, on the name, uh, w w did you have like maybe, did you visualize an idea that maybe if I want to start this website or start, because it's an associate company. Yes, it is. Yeah. Did you, did you like visualize it before you even came with it? Mm, in, in what sense? In a way that, you know, we, we sat down, had a meeting with, with your partner, yeah, like you said. Yeah. Like you sat down and agreed, we want to start this website yeah, so yeah. that, you know, it starts helping people to yeah, yeah. solve such problems. Yeah. Did you have like such initially? Yes, yes, yes. Because um, uh, back then, eh, back then we were, we were kind of um, tipping into the digital kind of quote unquote um, evolution. You know, it, was, it, was, it was still in existence, but not as much. It wasn't being given much attention. Okay. So um, we decided, you know, um, what's, what's missing? What's going to bridge the gap? And um, we realized that most, most brands and most companies have some really, really nice offline presence. You know, they have nice banners, they have nice posters, you know, they have really, really good stuff offline. They're but on, exactly but online the much you can just find about them is probably a google location you know right. and that does it if, if if you're a consumer trying to um get information about a brand right. the google side of the a google location is just not enough that will get you right. there but right. it doesn't give you enough information for you to make you know um sound purchase decisions right yeah so uh you came in to like help brands now have a a, a good presence online digitally yes digitally that is yeah 
Now, now speaking on that, yeah. how, how can a company, uh, let's say for example, ask, uh, ask why, we want to have this amazing presence online, yeah. we want to have feedback, mainly yeah. all of us want feedback, yeah. be it a brand, be it uh, a company, be mm -hmm. it a business, we want feedback from our clients, yeah. how can we create that presence online so that we hear people talking to us, giving us feedback about our products as well, how can you do that in terms of even websiting? So, um, you know, there's, digital is a very, very vast scope, yeah, you, can, you can't just say, you know, you're going to, it's not like pouring a cup of tea and calling it a day, you know. Yeah. Uh, there's so much that goes into it, but on the website side, um, unfortunately, very unfortunately for most local brands, uh, most of them think once you put up a website, that's it. But right. a website is a lifetime of engagement, you know. Right. Um, so today we, we've, come, we've come through as of a mind, we've given you guys a really nice website. But if you guys don't keep updating it, uh, today is um, the 15th, the yeah. 15th of December, right? right? So if by maybe January of by 15th January next year, you're still going to be having the same content, that means you as a brand are redundant in matter in matters of in matters of what you do, right? Right. So um, number one, uh, number one, uh, the, the very first point of uh, kind of correction is always, always, and I keep insisting this content is king. Right. Do those blog posts, um, do, do those service updates, do those portfolio updates, you know, um, you, you, you see like oh, on this day and this day we hosted this guy, on this day and this day we did right. these, we did this drive and stuff like that. Right. So just keep pushing content, uh, right. we, we, back, back to back relevant content. Yeah. Yeah. Because I remember when, uh, I think when I was in campus, because yeah. I left campus, yes, I left campus Kitambo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Those, those, those times, you know, you're given an assignment to go and create a blog. Yeah. And I think there was, a, there was a huge battle between understanding a blog and a website. Mm -hmm. and, and perhaps I'd love you to, to you know, clarify, up. like, yeah. what exactly is a blog and what is a website? Before we come up to now, how do you even create it from scratch yeah. and incorporate it in a business now? Um, so basically, more often than not, a blog is part of a website. You know, exactly. it's where you put all your written work, you know, um, a, a day in the life of Sakwa, you know, yeah. uh, mornings with Sakwa, stuff like that. That's, okay. that's the blog part of it. A website is the general, the kind of now, the, the, um, the umbrella body, quote unquote, yeah. for lack of a better word. It's like even the host for the website. Exactly. Or, the or website. for the blog. For, for the, the blog. blog. So yeah, now right. um, a, a, a fully fledged website will probably have a blog, a uh, portfolio, that's basically what you've been doing, right. services, what you actually do, uh, right. a, contact, a, contact, a contact page, an about page. You know, um, in more complex situations, probably with an e-commerce store, you'll have a shop page and stuff like that. Right. But a blog is just is just a part of the website, and more right. often than not, it's what that brings um, people to your website. Yeah, it yeah. makes it interactive. Yeah, yeah. Because this means it, it will have a writer's page exactly. or a writer's icon yeah. as well, yeah. and even have a video's icon as well. Yeah. And yeah. and in the world of TikTok and you know the rest of this, you know, I can only imagine after TikTok what is coming yeah. next. You, um, know? you know, I also do content, so I have. A oh, recipe. you're a content creator. As yes, well. yes, right. Yeah. So you do vlogging or you? Uh, I, I do, I do, I do food, tech, and lifestyle content. All right. Yeah. So I, I also have a in recipe. a podcast or a YouTube no, show. No, just 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 do TikTok. TikTok, oh, TikTok yeah, only. Yeah, right. I, TikTok and Instagram. So what I did right. is I have a okay. recipe blog. You see, the, um, so I, I integrate the Instagram posts to the to the blog, right. such that if you go to the blog, you don't need to leave the blog. Right. To go back to TikTok, or TikTok. like if you if you if you want to see a recipe for Matumbo, it's everything Just is there. Click it. Everything yeah. is there. The video yeah. is there. Step right. by step procedures, ingredients, everything is right there. Right. Yeah. So it, it makes it kind of cuts down the consumer journey, yet right. still being as effective as what will have happened if they went to TikTok, came yeah. back, come back know. to IG, yeah. and then switch to YouTube. Exactly. You know, like keep jumping between platforms. And in a world where people are busy, like we want to watch a 15 exactly. seconds video, yeah. it even applies to musicians who make long videos. You're yeah. like, hey, me, I can't watch that long video. People Nobody want like time, 30, man. you know. People want even everything. Even on TV, we play short stuff, yeah. right? Yeah. So, and I love the fact that, you know, you're doing it for a website. Now, let's get back to the website. <laughs> cool. How do you create it now from scratch to a point now you have to incorporate now? Like, let's say um, you spoke of tech, you make yeah. tech content as well. Yeah. Even food, you yeah. cook a lot all year. In fact, my, 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 my main argument was like, when are you inviting me to this? Cook out. Oh, pull up, man. <laughs> pull up any day. Yeah. I kept on insisting, right? <laughs> pull up any day. I, I love to actually see how you prepare your recipes from scratch to, yeah. to finally now having the, the final meal. Yeah. The, and it looks uh, sumptuous when you post it. I'm Thanks, like, man. hey, man, yeah. you're a chef. Yeah. Now let's get back to the website. How do you incorporate it now and have like just a specifically website for cooking, for entertainment, for mental health? How do you create that from scratch? So, um, what normally, normally what you do before, before even commencing building a website is identifying the needs that you need to satisfy. You, know, um, you, you kind of come up with a goal list. You say, for instance, if it's a recipe blog, I want people to get recipes 
at you know at just one click. I, I don't want people to you start going you on Google googling my tumbo recipes and then coming yeah. back and stuff like that. You want to make these you know, the the, uh, the whole point is to make the user journey as short as possible All right. but still effective. So um, what you do is you decide the goal is to provide recipes in in like the shortest, shortest form possible. possible yeah. Yeah. So um, you've already identified a goal. So how do you go about it? You decide now, um, for instance, my domain, uh, aka URL, is uh, muthombinip.com, right? right? So under muthombinip.com, I cannot put my portfolio yeah. uh, and recipe blog. You find it, yeah. Yeah, I cannot put my portfolio, recipe blog, and right. um, you know, uh, and everything else. All, all. I also have a blog blog. I used to oh, actually, blog, yeah. I, I, like when I started off, I was blogging. Why well, are you the ones who are writing like uh, Edgar Barre? <laughs> actually, no, 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 no. We were doing um, like Biko, you know, when Biko Zulu, right, yeah. Biko Zulu, Magunga, right. back in the days, in I think. I was fresh out of campus, 20, 2017, give or take. Right. We used mm -hmm. to do blogging. So what you do is you can either do a subdomain, a uh -huh. subdomain that's blog.mutobinik.com. Right. Or you can do a folder that's right. mutobinik.com forward slash blog. Yeah. I even don't know what that means. So it's explain. The, <laughs> technical <laughs> jargon. Right. A lot of technical jargon. So what, what a subdomain is like a mini a, a mini website okay. from the parent website. Okay. Yeah, but now it shares the it shares, it shares the domain extension. It's like a mini website. Oh, is it like uh, like for example sakwa.wordpress or something? Exactly. exactly. So the the, 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 okay. the primary domain is wordpress.com. All right. But now the the um, the, the, the prefix sakwa Okay. Uh, the prefix circle now points to your specific personally mine. Or, yeah, on the WordPress website. Right. You see. But now you can customize it and have your own, like have Sakwa dot something dot com. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which means you have to buy or something? You you, um, you have to buy a domain and hosting. Okay. Which now has become pretty cheap. I think from as low as five thousand but we can get that. Five thousand is a lot, bro. Rob. <laughs> just to well, be just to be twelve G's man. Uh, there's also but there's someone who requested two hundred and fifty thousand to yeah. buy a domain for it was a business and I'm like, bro, call me and I'm no, if, Buying a server, yeah, it's possible, even more. That's a lot of money. Even 1.2 you know? million, bro. Hey, that's too much. <laughs> you IT guys, you <laughs> IT guys, <laughs> you are too IT. <laughs> see, yeah. You see, if you're trying to, to run services like Uber, uh -huh. you cannot just get any, any, any server. You have right. to get a standalone server, for, like a whole ass building for that stuff, you know. Right. Um, you, you kind of get, you, you have to get a lot of space, a lot of uh, computing power and stuff like that. Right. So you cannot compare um, needs for brands like Uber to right. brands like, you know, personal brands or, or a portfolio brand. Like, for instance, if you had to do SAP or, or in my case, mutombinip.com, my, my needs and Uber's needs are like all the parts, you know. Okay. At any given time, Uber is probably handling probably a million requests. Right. Mine's probably handling 100, maybe 200 a day. And that's a lot of traffic, like people visiting. Yeah, it is. It is a lot, but you really cannot compare it to Ubers. Because Uber, right. we're talking about at any given time, probably any, any, any one hour, they've probably handled a million requests. Yeah. So it needs, it needs to have some serious uptime and stuff like that. Uh, speaking of that, kuna kuna time uh, you hear to website in Mehang, uh, yeah, Aiko. But I've never seen Safaricom's website in Mehang. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what they do behind the scenes. What usually happens in the back end of a website? So uh, there, there, there are a number of reasons that happen for that for, for that to get there, but mostly it's normally. Um, you see, when, when you buy when you buy a domain and, and hosting, host, uh, a domain is like the address. Okay. If, um, simply put, is like. For instance, this is Y254, right? Yeah. So the, if there is the address to Y254, which is um, uh, around, uh, uh, around this place, KBC, right? Yeah. That's the address. Right. But now there is a place where you put your, you store your files, you store oh. your website files. That's a hosting. So um, the hosting comes with, um, comes with storage, where now you put up your, up, uh, all your files. If your website is like 2 GB, 10 GB, that's where you go. And bandwidth. bandwidth. There's a lot of storage. Yeah. Right there. Uh, no, actually, it's not. At it's this not time and age, it's not. Oh. So let's say 2 TBs. Is could be a lot. Yeah, two TB is a lot. Two TB. Right. Well, normally, normally I tell people, uh, fifty GB to hundred GB works for 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 s small to to medium websites. Yeah. Yeah, because more often than not, if it's stuff like videos, I never upload videos on my clients' websites. Right. You know, in an age where TikTok, YouTube, Instagram provides embedding, I, I don't see any I don't see any reason why you, you will go tiring your, your your resources when someone else is offering you the same for free. You know. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You, you don't have to reinvent the wheel. So what, what happens for a website to hang is more often than not is you have run out of resources. So okay. probably you have a bandwidth of say 30 GB monthly. Um, that means the traffic to and fro fro from your site is 30 GB. So right. if someone accesses a page that's 2 MB, um, that means they have read 2 MB worth of data from your website. Yeah. Yeah. So if we get 10 of those people, that's 20 MB. Right. So the more the more they are, the more the more your resources are straight. So, right. so you'll yeah. get a four. It's it's a four four error not found. Normally that one is four when something has been deleted. Uh, there's a, um, um, there's a three or one error. That's a permanent redirect. Like, like then, it was yeah. moved. 
Is it is that something like 504? 504, 504 is uh, not found. Uh, not found uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, it's not you're found. Like you click on a link and there's like. And then yeah, there's another one that gives you. You're like, yeah. What do you mean? Like, exactly. You tell yeah. Me something. Yeah. You know? there, there's so many errors. There's 301. 301 is permanent redirect. There's um, 404. 404 is not found. There's um, I think 501. I'm a 504. One one of those numbers for like th now that one is actually down. Your resources are. are uh, it normally tells you there. Um, it tells you NGIX and then it gives you an error code. Right. So it, more often than not, you can always tell what the if if I, if I see the error code, I can always tell what the problem is. Right. Yeah. Which is amazing. Does it does it include coding? Oh, there's one of my cousins. He's he just wants to be a coder. Yeah. Is it like one of the main uh, one one of the main things happening in IT right now? Like someone wants to know uh, how to operate a website on the back end from you know twitching and twisting stuff behind the website. Have you also done it coding? Yeah. 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 But. Um, is it related to a website as well? Definitely, definitely. For you, for you to build websites, you have to be really good at coding. You should yeah. be a coder. Yeah, you should right. be a coder because you see there, there, are, there, are, there are specific elements of a website that you just don't put up. You right. Know? You, you have to write code, code for it. For instance, if, um, uh, the, the, best, the, best, uh, the best example I would give is on my website, I have a cost calculator. Um, so basically, um, I, I find it much easier to send someone a link to the cost calculator yeah. when, when they're not sure of what they want in matters of websites. Yeah. So you tell them, um, do you want an e-commerce website? Do you want a portfolio website? Do you, right. want, um, do you want a portal website? Yeah. So yeah, you, you want a portal website. What would you want on it? So the more you go ticking, the, the more you go ticking elements you want on your website, right. um, it, it kind of tallies it for you and gives you a, a, a cost estimate. Right. Yeah? So that, that's not some, something you just, you just kind of slap on it just like that. Yeah, because yeah. I've seen a lot of companies now advertising uh, for people who know how to code. It's like it's the future of IT now and even it websites is. as well. It is. Right. Yeah. Do you offer courses? No, unfortunately not. Right, you should at some point. Um, I'll think <laughs> when about you it. get that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> now let, let's come back to uh, some of the products that your company offers. Yeah, uh, Overmind Associate. Yes. And uh, it's 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 interesting. You've worked with amazing brands, including the Hub Car, yeah. including Picasso Restaurant, yeah. Alibaba Sharif, which you've mentioned before. Yeah. How, yeah. How, how how did these companies, all of these mainstream companies, you know, support you? Um, as I and, say, and you are, you are also an award-winning, you know, yeah, developer, yeah, yeah. you know. Um, in 20, right. 2019 or 2020, man, I am really bad with dates. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm always carrying around uh, sticky notes and stuff. Yeah. So uh, we won, um, I created a website, TLC.ke. Okay. Uh, it's a pet food website. It sells uh, stuff for pets, you know, uh, cat the food, dogs. dog food, you know, um, pigs. toys. <laughs> I know, a, a pigs. <laughs> Are they pets? <laughs> Guinea pigs. Oh, maybe. <laughs> So we won um, best agribusiness site of the year. Right. That's in twenty, I think twenty nineteen or twenty twenty. Yeah. Right. So um, before the pandemic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just before the pandemic. Right. Um, also, I think uh, a, a year later, um, there's a there's a there's a platform called the Good Estate online. Okay. So what they do is they go ranking websites for uh, you know usability and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, my website Google Minute was ranked was ranked I think number two. Wow, congratulations. Yeah, really sense. Did they give you like a physical award? Yeah, yeah. They, give you, they give you a banner. See, like how when you win uh, big uh, blogger awards, right, you're yeah. given a, a banner. Right. It's yeah. like a plaque for YouTube. Exactly. Because well. you, okay. you see, at the, at the end of the day, because you want it for your website, it really right. makes sense to give you a plaque that you just keep on your desk. Right. You know, you, you're given a, um, a banner, a really nice banner. To also, display. also on the website? Will yeah. it feature on the website? Yeah, I right. it still is. Oh, wow. Okay, still I'll is. check out. I yeah. haven't checked that out. So, out. Uh, how we got spotted by these brands is. My, my partner, Richard, um, has been in the game for, for a while and he, um, he started off um, in agency. Right. So, so uh, let's, you know, if we're being very honest, um, networks really do go a long way. Yeah? So I'd say it, it, was, um, it was a nice blend of networks and work ethic. Yeah? So we were just where we were supposed to be when we were, they were looking and it was easier for them to spot us because our previous work spoke for itself. Right. Yeah. And here you are. Are you expecting to win another? <laughs> oh, yes. 2023 is going to be crazy. I kid you not. Amen. 2022 yeah. is done. Now, I, I, I loved you to just uh, explain to us just a little bit, a yeah. little bit, yeah. some of the services that you offered, especially for the hub car. And I'm, I'm interested to, 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 to know what you offered the hub. And then there's Alibai Sharif, there's Extreme Clean Car Wash, and many others. What are the services that you're offering them? It's purely um, general scope, digital cons. Okay. You know, uh, creating posters, uh, managing their socials. You know, um, uh, managing ma managing their what do you call it? Um, you know, co for, uh, with comms, with comms, there's so much that goes into it. So m purely, uh, majorly, it was more of the comm side. Yeah. Yeah. A good question coming through from upstairs. Uh, they're saying, how can someone earn money from a website? 
good question. That's a really, really good question. Um, as I say, most brands and individuals think once you create a website, that's it. You know, right. you create a website on 15th December 2022 and call it a day. You don't want to go back there. And, you see, it's, 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 like, it's like buying a car. You know, once you buy a car, you have to keep servicing it. You know, you, ha you have to keep fueling it. You have to keep oiling it and stuff like that. Same, same thing applies for a website. Yeah. So for your website to, to actually start earning, uh, yeah. more, more often than not, how it earns is via ads. It could be affiliate ads or you could right. use an ad service provider like okay. Google AdSense. So um, once Which is they, also incorporated on YouTube, by the way. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Ah. So uh, once you reach for YouTube, I think you have to hit. Uh, is it 1500 watch? Uh, 1500. Uh, 4000. 4, right now it's 4000. Yeah, 4, watch time. Watch time. Yeah. Exactly. So mm -hmm. for 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 I think for websites, you have to hit a certain threshold of of traffic. Of traffic, right? Yeah, for you to be allowed to actually have AdSense on your website. Right. Um, on the flip side, if you do not think you, that's the way for you to go, you could partner with brands. I see people like um, uh, there's a, uh, most, one of my clients. She does she does she does she also does cooking content. Okay. Um, she has a book and stuff. So she partners with brands. You know, for for instance, she could uh, partner with like say a shop in town um, where they sell cook utensils and stuff like that. They, you put up the banner on your website. So once someone clicks on the banner, it takes them to the um, to, to the to the seller's website. And then now, of course, it has an affiliate link. Which now the client will uh, now the, the, the sellers will be like okay we got this much traffic from your website right yeah and that's how finally you get to you know earn something yeah but yeah. I think for YouTube it's different because you know you have to have the CPM you have to have watch time as well as well you know number of ads running but yeah uh, there's also sometimes it's annoying you click on a website you want to read something but the ads are taking too long man how can we even shorten ads from a website even YouTube you want to watch a, a video. Add after add, add after what? What is not happening at the back end? Uh, you see, these people are trying to make money, right? So they are forcing ads. Unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, most people do not really um, care about their consumers. You should care about you know. Yeah, because because I, I, right? what you're saying is true. You'll you'll go into a website and the ads are popping, especially on your phone. Ads are popping in from the bottom, from the top, from the side. Right. You no, know, like. It's, and it's you like, watch five seconds ad. Damn. Oh, you scroll. It's 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 a pure clown show, you know. Yeah. And and um, it's it's not supposed to be that because right? the user experience is really compromised. Yeah. Uh, if 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 I scroll twice, thrice, and I get an ad, I'm I'm, I'm leaving your site. You exactly. know, it's that simple. I'm leaving your site. Right. So um, I think there are better ways of incorporating ads into websites. You know, right. don't, without even making them look too obvious. There are right. nicer ways of doing it. But um, in 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 regards to what do you do to kind of mitigate that as a user. Right. Um, don't, don't, don't tell them I told you this. <laughs> don't tell them I told you this, but you could use an ad blocker. <laughs> wow. That, I did not say that. that. I don't, uh, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, it's an extension. It's, 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 an ad, it's an ad blocker. So yeah, I didn't say that. You didn't hear that. And, uh, and, uh, and, and Android. Yeah, yeah, that. yeah. yeah. Download it, say, 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 say. <laughs> now, for business, yeah. if, uh, for example, why? We want to, want to have a why ad running. Can we have why ad running on Citizen TV? YouTube, like in it. Yeah. But it just is, depends is on it how possible? much money you is have. Is it possible to, hey, by the way, now <laughs> this is on a website. Can you have uh, like a company's uh, business ad running on another business ad? Yeah. It's, yeah. It, it, it's okay? Yeah, it's yeah. Because for instance, as, as Overmind, if a company that does not conflict with our interests approaches us for ads, where would we, where, where would we say no to an extra buck? Right. Yeah. And if, if I mean if we agree to their if we agree to what they are all, all about, and their um, their, their business is the, and we don't have a conflict of interest, I mean it's another day to make another dollar, man. Right. Yeah. Now let's say, let's switch back to I don't want to use the underdog local manaiji to nasema ngal local kese underdog we. Yeah. Watafuta underdog baki dog. Takujiwa, takujiwa bro. Now for for, for a mama mboga, because yeah. they say the future is tech, yeah. the future is digital, and a lot yeah. of fact that you know recently the president, I'm um, saying all services are going to be digital, including I think up to now it's it could be 500 services mm -hmm. for Zagava. Mm -hmm. All of them have gone digital, digital now, yeah. Yeah. right? Yeah. Including uh, Jamhuri Day, Mekwa Monday. Yeah. The theme was also tech, yeah. right? Yeah. Now for, uh, for 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 the local mananchi kuchini wenye mama mboga, so you know say ona ambiwa from next year, anza kuweka business. Up. Mm. How, is it going to help them to, 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 to operate and run the businesses successfully, especially a Mamamboga who's selling omena and avocado? To be, to be very, very honest, we are not there yet. Yeah. We are headed there, but we are not there yet. Because um, let's use it as, a, as an example, right? Mm -hmm. um, how often do you visit your Mamamboga? Very often. How, how, that's probably very once often. a day, right? Right. Uh, and, and whenever you go there, you're getting like groceries. You want to see your tomatoes. 
You want to see your onions. You want to see exactly. your avocados, right? You want to get a feel of them. You want to touch them. You want to somehow not touch exactly. your avocado. Now, I, I, I understand. Don't touch <laughs> yeah, I, I, I understand. I understand that you really want to go digital and stuff like that. Yeah. But that, that, that calls for so much integrity from both sides of the, of the divide. Because right. if you, you, you as a mamamboga will go digital, if I ask for tomatoes and you bring me squashed tomatoes, Right. That is not what I asked for. I'm appealed. Or, or you unpeeled. know, like right. uh, our unripe tomatoes. You know, right. I ask for tomatoes on your app, and you deliver. Uh, which is what happens most of the times. We have seen more, time and time again, people. What you asked for is versus different. what delivered. It's like Josie. There's this mama from Thika Road ordered pizza, kaleto chapati, tattoo zimekato, and the mm -hmm. delivery guy just vanished. Kuna mahali uko mtu alisema alioda alioda waharua kaleto ambegu za avocado. Boy, I hope we talk in your direction. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes, direction. Yeah, thick See no right. evil, hear no evil. <laughs> <laughs> what is all happening now? Because it, it, it seems like even uh, the future of it is more disenfranchising than more than empowering. You know, if, if people were, were to adopt um, a, 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 a culture of being honest, you know, um, what you see is what you get. Right. It will really, really go along. Because for instance, I keep telling even most of my clients, more often than not, uh, for starting business, you do not need a website more often than not. Reason being, um, the, the resources that are required to keep our website up and running yeah. will be directed elsewhere, maybe in stock and stuff like that, for your right. business to keep growing yeah. to a level whereby you feel like... Because the whole point of our website is to automate your, your system. You know? Exactly. Yeah. You know, if, if, if you are a Mamboga, you want to automate the whole system of the whole process from when a client comes on board to the point they get their, 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 their delivery. But now, um, you and Mamboga, a proper, proper um, e-commerce website, goes for around that five hundred dollars, right? Okay. Yeah. The service fees are five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars. That's yeah, a that's lot give or take four hundred k. Yeah, yeah, that's a lot of money. Yeah, exactly. How many? So where, where are you getting this thirty five hundred? If you can't even have your business run two years successfully, exactly. without running out of stock exactly. now. Exactly. So yeah. I tell people instead of going the website way, how about we have we have really nice, um, really nice platforms. Uh, Instagram has a shop, Facebook has yeah. a shop, WhatsApp has a catalog. Yeah. It's only Twitter, Elon Musk, and Mekata. I'm it's saying, like, it's ads. 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 But ads are too much on Twitter anyway. He's going to kill. Another day. So, um, <coughs> for instance, WhatsApp catalog is the easiest way. Uh, right. it's, it's literally it's literally an e-commerce store on, on, on your WhatsApp. That is WhatsApp business. Yeah, what's on WhatsApp. you install WhatsApp business, um, upload your products, and then anytime someone asks you for, for a catalog of your product, you send them your catalog the contact, uh, link. Yeah. And that's yeah. it. You, know. yeah. um, you, you work with what, I tell people, work with what you can for free, while yeah. you scale up towards now, getting proper proper tools. I'm not saying these are not proper tools, yeah. but you see there has to be there has to be something that gives at some point. You have to right. keep you have to keep scaling greater heights. Right. Yeah. And I love the fact that you spoke of Instagram because on Tuesday we interviewed um, Eli Mwenda, the creator of the Manto yeah. podcast, and he was telling us creature. how to make use of, you know, that uh, shopping tool mm. on IG. Mm. But uh, if someone who is watching today and uh, they want to ensure their business is massively present on IG and use that tool, what would you tell them? Uh, they, 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 are, they are not two ways about it. They are not two ways. Again, be very honest about it. Okay. Uh, do not, do not, do not. Um, as, as you women, scammed, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. women, women are most affected because women go as you, they go buy heels online. They are told it's a number seven. Turns out it's a number seven UK, right. and she's a number seven US. Or it's five thousand Kumbenia so to a pangara. Well, that <laughs> <laughs> exorbitant phrases are, are a whole new conversation altogether. But um, I keep if you're going to go the Instagram shop, first of all, be very honest. Deliver what exactly you, you post, and then the other problem people have is using photos from online. Yeah. You know, and you know very well lifting photos exactly. from other websites. You know, you know you, and you know very well what you have is not what exactly is on that photo. To that quality, yeah. Because yeah. you see, the moment I come on your site and I see a photo of this shoe, I am expecting yeah. this shoe. Exactly. When you order it, you should have. That is exactly, exactly what I'm expecting. That, you, know. you know, and right. and issues like size material it's even the fabric e of the every unit. single detail yeah. every single detail because by the time i'm buying it if it's, if it's a t-shirt if it's a shirt like this um if, they, if they say it's exactly. linen yeah. if I, yeah, i'm expecting a linen shirt bringing me a polyester shirt that, that yeah. that's that's swindling me yeah that's swindling me yeah, have you seen those memes you're like uh what you ordered versus that's what, what, you you what was the like, like it's crazy, man. It's crazy. Different. Do you trust delivery sites, especially? I don't want to mention them here. I say, hey, you're hating. No, 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 no. It's like you could mention Ata Moja. Yeah. But they are scandalous, by the way. And they're crazy. running businesses, but scandalous as well. Yeah. How can we do away with, with you know, with such constant uh, events happening on, 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 on websites as well? Because you click on a website, um, you're ordering food, and then you do go on a culetta, chapati, mandondo, instead of like chicken teriyaki, whatever. <laughs> Yeah. So, uh, on the, on, as, as a techie, there's not much you can do to mitigate that. Because yeah. mine is to just build a platform. 
you know, the mind is just tell you, um, I have given you a platform for food deliveries. Yeah. Now it's up to you. It's, it's to, like from what happens now. between you and your client is entirely up to you. Integrity. Again, integrity. Right. Again, if you say you're going to deliver Chapo Dondo, please, 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 please. I don't want to find Maisie in my Dondo. But I wondered, pizza, you know, it's like we mentioned. <laughs> like a whole, you know, you guys. Am I, am I, it, it, it's a possibility now, it's, uh, it's the delivery guys. Uh, it could be anything. I can change pizza, I can change it, it's, it's a possibility. Because I've heard of cases in South Africa. Yeah. Uh, Not even in South Africa, right here in Canairo, eh, I'm a cooler. Eh, I'm a half I'm a half year. 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 I'm a half yeah. Well, of course, every 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 new system, every 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 introduction or whatever, will always have a downside to it. Uh, the, the downside is we, we do not have um, system, and also you see there are no laws yet put in place to govern such things. Because if right now you ask me to deliver, you know, um, to deliver what you're saying, pizza, and I delivered chapombili with a lot of eggs, yeah. Um, assuming you'd want to sue me, how, how how exactly do you think that will pan out? Right. Yeah. Exactly. I'm trying to just check through this website. There's a plus you, you talked about store design and uh, architect, architectural uh, visualization, mm -hmm. which I feel like that one now deals with even houses mm. and in interior decor. Or yeah, yeah, we do. Uh, that's on the overmind side. We do uh, we, we do 3D mockups. So, right. for instance, if you as Y254 are looking to redesign your, your set, set uh -huh. yeah, so we, we kind of come here and, um, I, and kind of take in how this current set is like, okay. and then now we, we do a 3D mock-up of how it will look like after the redesign. You know, we put in the, the backdrops, we put in the lights and everything, and we put in circle there, and, and, yeah. you know, and it's a 3D. <laughs> No, how much is that? It's more money. Uh, you'll tell me. You'll yeah. tell me when you're done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. But I love the 3D set design because it looks beautiful with lighting. And we did one for Magical set. Kenya a while back and it was okay. amazing. It was amazing, man. It was yeah. amazing. Yeah. And, and, and have, you, have, you, have you had clients as well that have approached you that you've made something for them apart from Magical Kenya? Mm, yeah, yeah. Um, on, 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 the, on, the, on the design part, on the, the 3D yes, part, yes, yeah, on the 3D uh, there part. is um, this one we did recently for, oh, what's their name, what's their name, what's their name? Um, for, uh, we, we did mock-ups also for Toyota recently. You can find them on the Overmind Instagram page. Okay. We do very realistic, hyper-realistic uh, mock-ups for, for, we did for their 4x4. Four, four four. Okay. Uh, we also did one for um, some housing, some, some housing uh, plan that's, that's upcoming. Uh, somewhere, we will not name it yet. Because right. uh, we're still on an idea with the client, but right. we also did uh, some structural designs for for some housing plan for the reception for the reception area. Right. Yeah. And I love the fact that you are so strategic and tactical. You say we are fluid on execution, solid in our approach. You know, you're intentionally like that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. There, there are no two ways about it. Right. It's either the right way or the right way. Yeah. So yeah. what what are some of, uh, some of the sentiments or, or what is the feedback that you constantly get from your clients? Um, a, as a web developer, and it's, it's something I, I, am, I am actually actively uh, addressing at the moment. Right. As a web developer, I have realized up to 70% of my clients do not, is, um, hosting and domain is renewed annually. Okay. Yeah? Up to 70% of them do not renew. Okay. That means only 30% of these people actually need their websites. You know, if, if you are going to have a website and not renew it, it means it's not of essence to you. So um, it's not feedback they give me one on one. Uh -huh. It's feedback. I, 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 I make deductions as a, as a professional. You're like, uh -huh. if this guy did not renew their, their hosting, it's because they do not need, it's, it's because they do not see, it's either the ROI wasn't all that or they do not need the website yet. All right. you know? So um, as, as a web developer, that's something I'm really working on. You know, just telling my clients, uh, just because your friend in business got a website doesn't necessarily mean you need one. Yeah. yeah it's just take your time, um, ease into it, see how that goes. From this brands, I, 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 I let me guess. Can I guess or can I just say? Anyways, let me just say from these kinds of brand you've worked with, bro, yeah. you, you have money. You have money. Kujari you Bui. have money. You Kujari have money. Because from the hub, Karen, from. Uh, oh, that was Kitambo, uh, Bana. Uh, this was, is Kitambo. No, that was Progress Kitambo. 3D product image, I said that one you did. I, I think that is now web design. For 3D products? Yeah. That, that's, more, that's actually more, more of mock ups. More of cups. Yeah, more of mock ups, yeah. Right.
Now, uh, for, for, for someone who is watching you right now and they want to access your services, do you have like an office apart from the website? Mm, we used to have an office, COVID happened. Yeah. COVID really, really hard. Us. Thanks to Zoom. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So Zoom and Google Meet made it easy for everyone. All but right. um, we have uh, for, for the web design part, we have mutumbinit.com. Okay. Um, for, but now for the general, you know, um, for everything, our own mind associates. Yeah. It's on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. You'll find us and you'll find a lot of our work there. Yeah. yeah. You'll give your contacts when you come close to the end. Sure, sure. Now, uh, for, 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 for anyone who wants to design a successful website for their business and uh, they're, they're, they're also lost. Yeah. They're like, should I go Google the Google way, search, you know, how mm -hmm. I should, you know, come up with mine. Mm -hmm. And maybe even, because I see even your, your portfolio has a specific colors that it has orange and a little bit of like thick green. Yeah. How do you even incorporate that in a website that becomes, you know, it's bold and attractive in a world where it's all about colors and, and whatnot? So uh, when we are building websites, eh? and this, this is something I keep, I keep telling my clients, because my clients are, are like, why are you charging me this much while I could get the same services for a quarter of the price? Uh -huh. And I tell them, you know, as, as, uh, first of all, it's the beauty of a free market. There's someone for everyone. Yeah, beauty exactly. of a free market, yeah? yeah. Um, but besides that, our process is, is, is very different because okay. uh, we just don't dive right into building your website. Um, you come to us guys as Y254 and you tell us, here are our brand colors. Here's what we um, at, um, here's what we seek to attain um, from the website, and then now we, we kind of chat a user journey. A user right. journey. A uh, user journey for for how exactly people will. If I if I visit your website, how exactly if, if uh, the call to action we want people to watch you right. guys live. We want you to be attracted. Exactly. When you click on it. Yeah. It should so be I need I need to make sure that the moment you land on the white website, website uh -huh. the first thing that that captures your eye is a, is a live stream option. Right. Yeah, that, I, that that has to be right there. So right. we we chat uh, we chat um, user interface, which okay. now kind of complements user experience. So user experience right. is how it, user experience is how it feels. User right. interface is how it looks. Right. And then after that, now we do another mockup. Even websites have mockups. Right. You know, uh, it's like a demo. Yeah. Like exactly. Final product, yeah. It's a clickable. Know. It's actually a clickable demo. Right. Yeah. So we tell you there's a homepage. From the homepage, you're going to have maybe a banner of the current show, you know, streaming yeah. live. Okay. Um, a list of shows and stuff like that, upcoming shows and stuff like that, previous shows, maybe a blog and stuff like that, or, and, or maybe your tweet, Twitter feed and stuff like that. It, it's, 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 a very, it's, it's a very rigorous process, but it's something I really enjoy. It's something I really enjoy putting together that to the, to the, to the extent that by the time I get onto your website, I would not even notice time flying. I spend yeah. 10, 20 minutes on your website. Like you enjoy just being there because exactly. it's colorful as well. Yeah, I think yeah. there's a term there are there are there are there are websites that were ranked the best uh, the media. Yeah, uh, I don't want to mention them, but I believe why we should be number two or three. Yeah, your, your color palette is really nice because there's something called color psychology. Yeah. I actually have a degree in psychology. You are, yes, <laughs> Ebu, Ebu dogo. How did you go from psychology now and then you went full full mod IT and then you went back full mod web development and then you went full mod content creation? So um, I've always been very passionate about IT from a very young age. I think from okay. around 14. Luckily for me, I have an uncle who's, who has a PhD in, in IT. So wow. back in the back back then, uh, I'm not a young man. You know, okay. I'm not young. So you can imagine yeah. back then when I was 14, we, 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 you know, we, I had access to a home computer and you okay. have to go to the cyber. So right. from there, my, my, my interest in tech peaked. Okay. And then um, when I went to campus, I was in Moe Uni, okay. LD. Uh, mm -hmm. When I went there, I, I, I was lucky enough to work with some phone brands okay. uh, as a reviewer for their phones. So now, uh, now, now where, where, as, as a reviewer, you know, at, uh, there's only so much you can review about a phone. You know, you see right. it has a, it has a eight yeah, megapixel camera, camera, RAM, it get, gets boring. Basic stuff. Yeah, right? it gets boring. So right. what I, I, I did, I started now kind of breaking the software, breaking okay. the software. I remember porting um, the, the, the OS for the Galaxy S3 wow. to that phone. When it had just come. Yeah, that that, back then the Galaxy S3 was, you see how they it was released like the S3, S4, the S5. Yeah. So the, the S3 had just landed. So yeah. I ported, uh, it's called porting, so it's kind of yeah. adapting the OS to another one. To another device. To another device, yeah, from okay. a different manufacturer. So mm -hmm. um, I, I kind of, uh, actually not I'm kind of. I'm wash washing at okay. So. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't wash washing. <laughs> <laughs> so I ported that, and I was like, you know what, this is actually interesting. I was doing it for fun. Uh -huh. All through campus, I was doing tech for fun. 
Wow. And then I, I come out here, I'm like, wait a minute. And then, you know, That's go in the bundles. You know, you know at least go in the bundles in the middle of nowhere. Moyuni, if anyone has been there, they know it's like in the yep. middle of nowhere. It's 30 kilometers from El Eldoret town. Right. Uko strike, baba. Unakula mahindi mkitokea hiki. Mkitokea, kuna karao na kuna kutu. You know, so, when I came back to Nairobi after clearing my undergrad, I was like, oh, tech actually pays. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, and then that was the future. Yeah. And then that, that was the time I was doing blogging and stuff. And then I realized, there is a niche matters websites. Yeah. So that's that's when I I, I, I I did that. But for my psychology degree, I don't know, man. It's I, I'm I'm glad to have it. You're glad to have, have you used it? I do. Yeah, use, yeah, a do lot. You use it to gauge clients. You'll be like a lot. Who you sasa? Who you see only a kikujia? You see, from the first words, I already know what you're all about. But you don't need psychology Thank for that. Thank you. You don't need psychology for yeah. that. The, the, the part yeah. where psychology really comes through for me is uh, stuff like color psychology. Um, color. Di di yeah, different colors communicate different stuff. Uh, yeah, colors like blue. Even now. Colors yeah. like blue. Uh, I love blue. But it, colors like blue uh, yeah. communicate trust. That's right. why Facebook, Twitter, uh, most banking apps yeah, have the color. Blue. color. Right. Yellow um, communicates growth. Ukambani. <laughs> <laughs> Yellow communicates growth. Green right. communicates development. So right. um, if if your brand if, red love, uh, red could be love. Uh, red could be danger. Red right. could be agency. Red, flags. Red could be agency. That's right. why most ambulances, um, even street lights. Yeah, and uh, street lights. Even cars. Even um, you know, nine one one cars have red lights. They, red they, lights, they yeah. communicate a lot of agency, and it's a, it's a color that stands even out. Even the word yeah. red flags itself is <laughs> like you know, yeah, you better exit. Yeah. yeah. So uh, different colors communicate different stuff. Uh, if if you want a brand, if you want a brand combination, color combination that probably speaks um, royalty, leisure. You know, if, right. you're, if you're going to be talking yeah. something high end. You're looking yeah. at colors like black, gold, purple, you know, yeah. colors that communicate affluence. Exactly, even for TV shows, graphics, yeah. uh, there's, there's TV shows that are, have very colorful graphics. There's those that graphics that are official, yeah. depending on the audience. Even a female talk show, she, the graphics are, are different, different from, from male. a male talk yeah. show, right? Color psychology goes a long, exactly. long way. And I love it. And we live in a world of colors right now. Yeah, yes. everything is in color right now yeah. yeah now let's get back to uh when it comes to now competition handling competition yeah. uh, how can you make your website to be the very 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 best when people are clicking on it they'll be like i like nicks more than you know circles what are some of the things you can put in together that can make you as outstanding um my list is very short loading speed make it make uh, make your website load in the shortest time possible normally anywhere between one to three seconds Nobody right. has the time to wait for five seconds for your, for your website to load. Yeah. yeah. So make sure your website loads really fast. Make sure your web website is adapts to all devices. I don't know if you've ever gone to a website and then you kind of have to tilt your phone because your yeah. website is scrolling sideways instead of up and yeah. down. It's Ama, scrolling sideways. Ama does not support your device. Exactly. I'm like, what? Exactly. You know, yeah. uh, make sure it supports devices. And that, and most importantly, offer relevant content. Right. Relevant content. Because you see, um, uh, you, you go around websites and you see they have lifted content. For instance, if people are selling, if it's a shop that sells products from Sony, they right. lift content from Sony and just paste it, as is it exactly on, on the website. On, on their website, you see. Right. That doesn't set you apart from Sony. You know, okay, um, yeah. if, if, granted, it is a description from the That means it was showed you work done. Well, we could call it that because right. it actually is. It actually yeah. is. You don't give it a touch of your brand. You know, yeah, you, like even personalizing yeah, it exactly. and giving it that intent yeah, that it yeah. should be. Personalize you know. it, you know, give this thing a circle touch. You know, if, right, if, yeah. if, okay, granted, I bought these TVs from Sony. You yeah. know, uh, these are Sony products I'm selling, but it's not Sony selling you these products. It's yeah. circle selling you these products. Yeah. So you need to give them that circle touch. Yeah. And, and, and that's, that's where I'm like most... Like seduce them to stay there. Exactly. Yeah, that's where most brands really, really, really fail because... It's, it's great it's, it's great that you have content from these platforms and everything and right. it's, it's it's i call it filler content it's, it's just like laura mipsam you know, laura right. mipsam is, is a is a dummy content that you find on uh, in computer websites on laura. display it's, yeah. it's like a display exactly you know? it, it's literally a display it right. doesn't it doesn't offer any value because if i'm if if um if i'm going to buy a sony tv already i have been to sony's website yeah you know i have been to his website i have checked know. out I, right. I i know the refresh rate i know how much brightness it it has i i know it's it's, it's viewing distance and stuff like that now i am going i'm not going to buy this tv from sony i'm going to buy this tv from sako right how does sako convince me to buy yeah. this tv so that's true square to any imposter i'm yeah, a hawker who go to, to maze when, when, hey, yeah. I'm, I'm a broker <laughs> yeah hey. 
Exactly. Yeah. I remembered something. There was this story of this chick. I think the video was viral on TikTok. Yeah. I learned I could buy iPhone 11 Pro Max. Yeah. And we spoke of porting. So yeah. I'm like, is that what happened to that device? Because the whole phone make is uh, iPhone 11 Pro. Mm -hmm. you know? But on clicking it, it's iTel. Was it iTel or even Sagem? You see, uh, uh, we, 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 have a, we have a blessing and curse of having very, very, very smart friends from that side of the world. China. I did, I did not mention names. <laughs> I did not mention names. Uh, it's, it's a blessing in a curse. So okay. those guys will go... Uh, these, these phones are... Is that porting? Well, so actually, it's not actually porting per se. Because it's just a phone that actually looks like an iPhone. The, the outer... The, outer. The, the design. Yeah, right. like it's just a casing that looks like an iPhone. But uh -huh. on the inside is an Android device. Yeah. Yeah. So um, if you're not keen enough, because these phones actually even light up with the Apple logo. It's exactly. very easy. That, that's, exactly. it's, called, um, uh, it's, called a, it's called a boot logo. It's something yeah. you can actually write. Most Android devices from... Oh, it's something you can process yeah. and even have it and put it in a different well, phone. Yeah, when my nephew was born um, 11 years ago, I, I was still very, very fresh into tech and very jumpy and all enthusiastic. Yeah. Bougie. Yeah. <laughs> I actually, my, when I had the phone I had, that, the same phone I, I really messed up, uh -huh. I put him as my boot logo. So every time it will light up, it will show a photo of my nephew. Okay. It's something you can actually tweak. So what happens right. with these phones is they, 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 they design the body of the phone, the physical aspect of it, to be... Um, of to a different di model? So they, they, they kind That's of replicate. Initial, right? Like in this case, the 11 Pro Max. Yeah. They replicate the design uh -huh. to the very last bit, but right. now the interior is an Android right. phone. The system, I like... Exactly. So the camera is an Android camera, um, the, the RAM, the motherboard, everything is an Android camera. And you see, I and you're buying it at one fifty thousand, just yeah. I, one fifty. Sometimes I like feel that, like the, the, like the consumer is also to be blamed because, like, yeah, brown. You have to do due diligence, man. Yeah, you have to do due you know, diligence. But maybe it also depends with the with the uh, with the the shop because you know, there's some shops that be like, yeah, just take it or operate it well at home, wash it your home. But there's those people who be like, let's first of all sign in on the Apple ID. Yeah, show me how it goes. You know. Uh, well, I. I Honestly, at some point, at some point, consumers have to come in and take responsibility. Mm -hmm. At some point, we, maybe you're just blindly buying. You're yeah, you tired, can't do that. You have at money at this time like, and day, you're you you Exactly. Yeah. Especially in Nairobi, but not even just Nairobi. Everywhere. 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 There's someone who bought Sijui Sim Gani only to figure out from where Kumbi is going. You can't tell them. Like, what? what is not happening? Yeah. The other day, I so saw these power banks that are sold to, uh, in, in the CBD by those workers. Yeah, because uh, yeah, they actually have sand inside. But I can go test in our case. It's better to do in a funny case. So it's, it's, it's enough to, to show it's, it's fully charged and it's actually charging. Mm -hmm. But um, it's probably, oh, it's 30,000 30, milliampere, right? right? Yeah. So are you like, oh, nice. Oh, is How tattoo? Good stuff. 30, yeah. uh, 30, 30k milliampere. That means I can charge my phone four or five times. Yeah. Good stuff. Turns out only one battery works. That thing can't even, make, uh, can't even resuscitate your phone if it dies. Right. Because it's just a single battery. The rest are full of sand. Right. Yeah, so uh, due diligence. Due diligence and also sticking to um, renowned sellers. Right. I, I, I love the attributes of your website. You talk about what we do, our approach, you talk of product, and you mentioned passion and you've underlined it, you've underlined it in bold. Yeah. There's context where you guys have mentioned ambition, there's culture and challenges. Or well, this like among your core ingredients when you're coming up with it? Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Uh -huh. We, we, um, we put our all into our projects. Right. When I say our all, I literally mean our all. You know, even our sleep. It's, right. it's, it's not just our heart, even our sleep. You know, we, we spend, if, if we have a project, we, we spend sleepless nights. Um, on our portfolio section, we call it coffee, palettes, and cold. Yeah. Uh, on the, the portfolio section on mutominip.com. It's because um, until we actually have a proper, a proper approach to addressing your problem, Right. We do not know of taking breaks. Right. Yeah, it's it's our all through and through. Right. Yeah. And the color is the color is also like relax. It chillax a little bit green. And uh, does it mean something? Is this green and orange? It's does actually it a, a shade of red. But oh, it's a more shade of red. So, yeah, it's a shade of red. Oh wow. Some are quite color blind. I mean, I do two hex codes. I hear there's one called fuchsia. 
for sure. I think it should. Ile ile kala ile Jay Z nyal kwa meva. Oh, it's I remember. Move. It's move. Move. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Alimbo it's move. This is a color. Yeah, Alimbo it's move. So this is move, anyways. This is move. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I think it looks similar. Well, but in my line of work, we work with color codes. So. Right. Yeah. Now handling competition in websites uh, for businesses as well. Mm. You know. Yeah, you How do you handle healthy competition? Um, as, 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 as a web developer or as... Uh, Individually, generally as well. So uh, um, I keep saying there's, uh, there's someone for everyone. You know? right. So personally, I'm not, I don't compete. Jealousy. I, 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 do, I, don't, I, I do not compete. And then people like you look and you're like, yay, yeah, I want like this one. <laughs> to be and honest, then you have to compare notes, uh, give them a call and maybe have a meeting. It's normal. Yeah, it's yeah. Not working, the people, right? the people actually look up to um, are more of design gurus. There's a guy called Kala Edwards. He's on, right. he's on YouTube. Kala Edwards. Okay. He does some really, really amazing designs for websites. Okay. So I really, I'm like, you know what? Um, every time I feel like I'm at that level, he comes up with something new. You're like, bruv, give me time to catch up, man. You know, right. <laughs> he's like, over he's, the he's roof. always, he's always setting the bar higher, and I like that. So right. I, I look, I really look up to Kala Edwards. And I don't really think of him as a competition. Okay. I think of him as a mentor. Right. Yeah, he's someone I look up to. Yeah, he's, he's, he's not someone at he, who will sit down and be like, um, a client. Right. Even if he did, I would be like, wait, a client actually considered me and considered Kala Edwards. Right. That to me would be a win. It's a celebration. Yeah, right. that to me is a win. You know, stuff like that. Um, yeah. To my clients that work build websites for, I tell them the best way to stand out is to offer, is to offer relevance. Um, and, and value to your clients. Right. I, even if you're just an e-commerce store. You know, right. if, if your e-commerce store doesn't have much, because you, know, you see stuff like, uh, uh, if you're doing, actually, I don't think there's any brand that will lack a blog, because you see, if you're talking skincare, you could do blogs about taking care of your skin. If you're selling shoes, you could do blogs about what shoot wear wear. So always, always offer um, subsidiary relevant content to support, what your, to su support your main agenda. All right. Yeah, which is, which which is very very key. Absolutely. Now, in, in uh, we have like uh, two minutes before we go. Yeah. Uh, in terms of even longevity in in content posting as well, because yeah. uh, you mentioned if you have you, consistency is also part of Definitely. ensuring that the website stays afloat. Yeah. Does people like post once and maybe they go? Mm -hmm. Does it disenfranchise them or you know deny them, deny them the value or the juice of just you know having a website? Yeah, maybe they're just busy. Oh my, lazima ko nam talk manager. But for big businesses as well, they have even here we, our website of course is managed. Yeah. Do, do, does it need some extra coins to ensure that you know it's managed well, taken care of, serviced, and you mentioned that mm -hmm. prior. Before. Yeah, more often than not, it will. More often than not, because you see, um, if we give you a website, we, we, have, we offer you free support for the three, for three months after launch. Oh, for you? Yeah, from for us. Overmind. Yeah. So hey, we are going to give. You. Start giving this guy calls right now. <laughs> Yeah, you should by the way. I will share my, my psilocephans. So, <laughs> yes, do, so um, yeah. what happens is uh, after three months, yeah. we kind of set you free to the world. Right? Okay. Yeah. So, um, so you, with him, no, so you to a, a, a member exactly. Bar yeah, yeah. We, we win you. It's literally yeah. winning. winning. Yeah, yeah, we win you all through, and right. then um, we, we, we well, once you're done, now. once you're done winning, we now set you free to the world. Yeah. And unfortunately, which is not common. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, or fortunately for, for, most, for most brands, yeah. after we are done with that, most of them never really follow up. You right. know, um, for, for various, for whatever reasons they have best known to them, they never really follow up. You find our website is the same way you left it two years ago. Right. You know, um, like these people just created a website. I actually have clients whose websites I have never set live two years down the line because they thought creating our website is just... Yeah, like it's just it, a, a, and, 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 you know, and then yeah. you post one photo and you... Yeah, you, you know, like you just set up business. the stuff. They, they give you two, three photos you call yeah. it a day. What they don't know is uh, you need to keep updating your content. Exactly. Like, in, in between two years, I'm sure these people have done a lot of jobs. Yeah. yeah. Post those photos, describe those projects, you know, um, share them. Because also it helps with ranking on Google. You know, if... if um, if search right now, if you search the name Nick Mutombi... Like It'll pop up, right. If you search Nick Mutombi on Google, the whole front page of Google, the first page, the entirety of it, is my work. Right. The whole so there's a way you can tweak it and have everything of yours. You yeah, know, yeah. Right the there. whole first page of Google, if you search Nick Mutombi, the whole first page of Google is, mm. is, is my work, uh, probably my socials for work and stuff like that. So uh -huh. finding, me, my, like finding me becomes much easier. And that means right. um, once, if, if you know what you're looking for, now this is where relevance kicks in. Right. Yeah. 
Fantastic. Um, I'm trying to, lo to load up. Now, uh, as we exit, before yeah. you say where people can access you or the number they can call, yeah. why is it important for businesses right now, especially in this day and age, to have a website? Mm, other than automation, because websites will really, really automate your process. Mm -hmm. Website will, cl you will clearly, clearly, and uh, out, like, I, 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 I lack the words, but a proper website will, will, make, your, will make your process so smooth. For instance, right. if it's an e-commerce store, Okay. Um, you, you can you can automate the process from ordering to delivery. So yeah. the, the point of contact with you and the client is just delivery. Yeah. You know? and, and if they're going to do in-store pickups, it even becomes easy. So right. for you, um, it, nowadays it even does stuff like stock management. Okay. You know, um, you, uh, if you have integrated something like M-Pesa pay bills or tail numbers, Right. You, you, you get your you, you get your uh, you, you get your physical numbers. reports. Yeah, right. you know everything. Uh, it makes the process very easy, and, and now that. it gives you time to actually diversify and focus on something else. Right. Yeah. Um. Uh, besides that, um, having a website gives you some serious, serious. Um. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Um. This is what when people actually can take your word for it. You be, yeah. you, can actually, you actually become a force to reckon with. Because right. you see, you already have presence on social media, okay. and now you cement it to the website. Because right. you see, if, if I sent you an email from my Gmail address, right. and then I sent you another email from my personal address, that's uh, info at mutobinic.com, you stand a higher chance of paying more attention to the info one because it's a personalized email. Yeah, you know, it's, it's customized. Anyone can get a Gmail address, you know. Yeah. Um, and that's why even most of the times when, when people are putting up jobs and stuff like that, if they share a Gmail address, it becomes a red flag. Because yeah. what do you mean you're such a developer? Because went to spam. Yeah, exactly. Spam. Like right, you, you're right. such a big yeah. entity, but you're using a Gmail, Gmail address. Make it make sense. Right. Yeah. So it gives you credibility. Credibility is what we're looking for. Right. Our website gives you credibility. Right. Uh, and it, it, it also like really automates the process. And, and those are the top two. There are many other reasons, but those are the, uh, the those are ones my go-to reasons. All right. Yeah. Fantastic. Tell us where people can find you, give you calls, and access your services faster, faster as we exit. Nice. That's your camera. So uh, you can find me on um, on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, TikTok. That's uh, Muthumbi Nick, or you could just Google me, Nick Muthumbi. Um, for our company, Overmind Associates, um, it's overmindassociates.ke, or Overmind Associates on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Yeah, that's, that's it. it. Yeah. You've given the number. Uh, the number is zero okay. seven. <laughs> yeah, I'd forgotten that man. The yeah. number is um, zero seven one one. Two one nine four nine zero zero seven one one two one nine four nine zero.